or boons and hexes. Okay. That like you have a card, it's like draw a hex or draw a boon. And the ones that like you draw a boon, it's like you never know what you're gonna get. Yeah. Are yeah. you gonna get something really good or you can get something that's really weak? Yeah, how but do you, what's how more do you fun is giving your friends hexes and then just stalling the game out <laughs> and just slowing down the game painfully. Right. But no, that's a good strategy. We're playing a lot. We're talking a lot about these card games. No one else in the chat knows what we're talking about. Oh, Bye, I'm bad. sure we got one. I'm sure we, we got, got one. one. Hopefully, now this traditionally was an awful matchup in Smash Ultimate. This is really fun to watch. Oh, it's fun to watch for it's sure. It's very fun because Pac-Man with Shadow Ball can eat pellets. It's a it's a high level strat. I've seen uh, Cindy do it against the Buzz when he took out his really. Major, yeah. I was gonna say I feel like Mewtwo still wins, but at the same time, I feel like both these characters got a lot of their most polarizing tools removed. Like, yep, yep. if you talk to Nebula, you'll hear about how they change a lot of the stuff. Like, Uppy used to break shields. Look at this. What does Mewtwo Let's do to get a disadvantage there? That was Diang in probably, right? I think so too. I was yeah. gonna say. Character like Pac-Man starts what? taking you along for the ride. Di out, just get yeah. retreat, get go to lunch. Yeah, don't get greedy. That was a good strategy against any character. I agree. Know? I think it's very underutilized by a lot of players. You gotta get comfortable getting back on stage, you know, yeah. and yeah. mixing up your ledge options well enough that ledge is one of your best retreat options right. to reset. Now it looks like Nebula feels a little more comfortable off stage than we saw PC3X playing. Earlier. I agree. Nebula is always gonna go for the crazy galaxy brain plays, yeah. as his name might suggest. Yeah, right. Oh, I love that. Was that fair that was into? Yeah, fair into uh, F smash, right? Nebula's got some of the best tech chasing. Period. What's out the orange? Okay. I wonder why he's putting out the orange. Will I kill at this percent? Maybe. Orange will kill. Okay. In certain spots. Ooh, he knew that wasn't gonna take out the hydrant, so he pinged it with a fair. Apple's Apple still the trump card. Right off the top. There's something about the way the apple just goes diagonal at that nice mangle <laughs> yeah. that, like, everyone feels like they're ready for it. And in this game, because you can't air dodge multiple times, yeah. it's even better at catching right. landings, in my opinion. Oh, you punished him with the grab. OK. All right, jab combo. Honestly, that grab is really solid now. I'd rather have it than Ness's grab. Yeah, that, for that's sure. for, That's another complaint for another day, though. <laughs> Oh my god, he almost oh, chased him into the hydrant! That was so scary. I love that. He got punished with the F smash or something, right? Okay. Maybe not Diang, it was a low percent combo. Right. Dodge the Shadow Ball. Gets on stage. I don't think Unknown is trying that hard to punish. He's letting him on stage sometimes. I agree. He's trying to hold on to stage versus trying to keep him off stage, if that right. makes sense. Right. Oh, it, what the? Yeah. And it feels like Nebula, I mean. He understands, he kind of has that floating mentality like I do. Yeah. Offstage, he's want a jump mix up, do a jump option, and do some sort of mix up. Sure. But Unknown isn't trying to punish it, even though he's doing it very frequently and showing that he's not relying on it, but that he will consistently do it. Yeah. So. Let's not forget, Nebula has a ton of experience fighting Mewtwo. He does. Before. And he's done very well against a lot of them. Yeah. I mean, in their last set at the big MSU final tournament, don't forget that crazy oh, comeback win that unknown. Nebula had yeah. against Unknown. That thing was so viral. <laughs> yeah, that matchup 65-35 back then. So yeah, yeah. he's gone through those matchups with Pac-Man, Cloud. Nebula ain't in front of anything as Pac-Man now. Yeah, Unknown getting a almost fully charged Shadow Ball there into the Hydrant. Loki's Shadow Ball almost seems stronger in this game. Yeah. Kill power for sure. I also really like that roll on a stage by Nebula. There's a lot of people. Oh, he just reflected it while it was on the ground. Wow, OK. That's what happened. That was a confusing exchange. Right? Pac-Man's going to have a hard time getting in. Mewtwo just gets to play around him. All right, didn't reflect the orange. Now he's off stage. Parries the fair and gets in there. Great parry. We're going to assume it's intentional. Like We're going to assume every parry is intentional. <laughs> that, as long as it's not done by me. I, I won't lie. I've never done an intentional parry in my life. <laughs> no way. It's Whoa! Oh, uppy. Just oh, swoops on in there. He gets back to the trampoline. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he's going to Oh, no! No. Oh. Sometimes you just get a little bit greedy down I in the glass. I cursed him. I was like, he does up B for a living. Right. <laughs> and he misses it. That was something. Alive. I think these guys are the four and five seeds, so this tournament could be wrong. Okay. <clears throat> but. What? So unknown it was good for reflecting the key there. Trying to reflect the key, but it missed. Uh huh. He went under. Gets back and just. Ah. Uh. Oh, he was, he was trying to grab ledge. Okay. Unfortunate. Unfortunate for sure. There's so many more SDs low key than in Smash 4. Yeah, like, I yeah. like their idea of trying to make it so you couldn't, like, grab on the ledge as easily. And overall, the cast yeah. doesn't magnet hands as well. But at the same time, with the, the new buffer system especially, 
it's really easy to just die with an air dodge yeah. too. Both of those things together are a bad combo. Does it make you think about uh, players who SD more as like not as good at doing inputs? I don't know. You know. Like kind of like that old school Locust tweet where he was like, if you SD, like <laughs> I'm better than you or something. Like in this game, like there's more SDs, so like it's a little more relevant, you know? Yeah, no, I agree. Immediately going to the corner, charging Shadow Ball. Okay, Nebula switches Pokemon Trainer. I don't think Pac-Man was a problem here, yeah. but I like what he's going to be able to do with Pokemon Trainer more, if that makes sense. Right. Because Mewtwo's disadvantage today, I think, is worse in this it's game, booty. even than it more. It is really booty. Because he's not rescued by Air Dodge like a lot of the floaty characters yeah. were. Right. You know, his fair isn't as good, even though it's fair. And as you so. can see, he did work with Squirtle. He's at 74%. Yeah. You can get something right now and kill him, because Mewtwo's still kind of light, you know? And Mewtwo is such a big body, an up B Vine Whip is going to be so easy, honestly. He's not dead. He's up. All right. He almost got him with Ivy with the down air. But that fair would have killed that 74. Okay, yeah. Easily. Oh, wow. It scales really well at the ledge still. <laughs> it's not like a kill at 120 anywhere on stage kind of thing anymore. Nebula told me the other day he's been trying to practice a lot more with uh, Charizard. So let's see how this pays off. That was a couple weeks ago. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> By Shadow Ball. Charizard is the one that people are the least scared of, but you might be able to use that against people if that makes sense. Yeah, you know? the old Ganon fear versus respect kind of thing, right? Yeah, exactly. You can really tip the scale. Gets him, whatever, confuse and down Yeah, it's confusion. Them. Yep. Leaving you shaking your head. You're like, what's going on, man? <laughs> Unknown oh, getting some good percent right now. <laughs> Nebula could use a back throw right now. I think that would kill near yeah, edge. Yeah, for sure. Unknown's not giving him any uh, no control openings. here, yeah. Okay, down tilt. Uh, lost that, that's going to kill. Yeah. <laughs> you played yourself there trying <laughs> to go off stage in that yep, kind of situation. Yep. Not against Ivysaur. Just, that's got to be your top goal when playing against Ivysaur. Don't go off stage or under him at least. Because Ivy's got some good walls, but against a character like Mewtwo, that's pretty got some good mobility. Yeah. Like, that was just one of those things. It's like you weren't really risking anything by letting him come back. You didn't need to kill him there. Yeah. But he still got 80%, so who am I to kill? Right. Know? Let's see what other work Squirtle can do here. I know he's got some more percent where he's got some true combo. Oh! Yikes! Did he, like, shell slide away? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Up air takes it. Ivysaur yeah. now. Ivy surprisingly heavy. Yeah. Another roll that he got away with on stage. Not getting punished. Even though Unknown had the spacing for it. Yeah, we'll see next time if he tries to roll. Exactly. That's the adaptation. It's so beautiful to watch in this game. Yep. And in every Smash game. Yeah, for sure. Do you let someone get on the stage twice for free to really destroy him the next time to do it? All right, he was high enough. He, he needed to die there. Yeah, bad he got trade. A Charizard. And Jordan looks like he's uh, abusing uh, his frame data against Charizard's slow frame data right now. I agree. Mewtwo, they have land. similar frames, but Mewtwo still has so much faster aerials overall. Yeah. And Nebula's having a hard time getting I think that Nair's a little bit worse than it was in Smash 4, too. But it works against a big character with Charizard, you know? That's true. But he needs kind of like a big read here. Kind of gain some momentum, too. Yeah. Because Unknown looks like he's fiending the trade right now. He's a full stock up. That was a drag down, down tilt to up there, I think. That was sweet. Bad Nair on shield. Down throw. All right. All right, Nebula trying to end it all there. Not all, but some of it. <laughs> he, he needs a stock back. He was okay. going for a Tomahawk there. I could just feel that, but yeah. Nebula not budging, not getting baited. Right. Okay, okay. Up throw will not kill. Oh, oh well, I was right. Stop. He had the rage, yeah. Squirtle, let's see if he can put in some combos with the rage here. He got him to 70% on the first stock. Let's remember that. Uh huh. And it seems like Unknown is not ready for like the Squirtle like side V yeah, hit shield no. retreat. It's really irritating if you're not ready for it. For sure. I just jump around and hope to get the foot school sometimes because that'll give me some good advantage, you know. That's it on the top one. Top, yep. Um. So this week we had some new tech kind of like, uh, ex not exposed, but uh, uh, highlighted on My Smash Corner. Have you seen it? Um, no. What was it's, it? Uh, I feel like I saw Rick. the thumbnail for it, but